Welcome you all to Math Bridges Fun with Math. In this video, let's learn how to divide the given number by repeated subtraction. As we all know, repeated subtraction is known as division. So based on the strategy itself, we are going to do the problems. Let's see through an example how to divide by using repeated subtraction. The question is share 12 apples between three friends using repeated subtraction. So 12 apples are to be shared among three friends, Rohit, Anna and Shiva. 12 divided by 3. Now, here, if you observe here, the first apple, it goes to Rohit. Next apple, second apple to Anna and the third apple to Shiva. So now, how many apples are here? You can count here. 9 apples. That means, out of 12 apples, minus 3. 3 apples have been given to Rohit, Anna and Shiva. 3 minus 3. So now 9 apples are there. Now what we will do? Again we will share it. Now if you observe, again here, this first apple again it comes to Rohit. The next apple, this one to Anna. And the next, the third apple again it goes to Shiva. So now, Total, you counted how many apples are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 apples. That means out of 9 apples, again, how many apples we have given to them? 1, 2, 3. So, 9 minus 3. It is 6 apples we are having. Now, again, we will repeat the process. Same process. Now, again, out of 6 apples, the first apple, it goes to Rohit. The next second apple, it goes to Anna. The third apple, it goes to Shiva. So, now, how many apples? 3 apples are here. That means out of 6 apples, 3 apples we gave it to 3 of these friends, Rohi, Tana and Shiva. 6 minus 3 is 3. Now, repeat again. First apple again to Rohit. The second apple to Anna. And the third remaining apple to Shiva. So, now how many apples are here? No apple, 0. That means out of these 3 apples, we have shared the three apples equally to again Rohit, Anna and Shiva. That means 3 minus 3 is 0 apples. So how many times we have subtracted? 12 minus 3. First time. How many times 3 has been subtracted? You observe here. First time. Second time. Third time. Four times. So we have subtracted 3 four times. Therefore 12 divided by 3 is how much? It is 4. You can observe here, see the number of apples each person, how many they are having? 4, 4 apples. So, 4 is the quotient. So, this is by repeated subtraction, we are getting the quotient. The same thing, we will see it vertically now, 12 divided by 3. In one page, we will see how it comes. Means by repeated subtraction, 12 divided by 3. That means we have to subtract 3 from 12 so many times means how many times till we get 0. Let's see how it is. 12 minus 3. 9. Are we going to stop? No. So again minus 3. 6. 6 minus 3 again. How much it is? 3. Again minus 3. How much it is? 0. We have to repeat the subtraction till we get 0. What is the meaning of this? How many times we have subtracted? 1, 2, 3, 4 times. That means each person got 4 apples. You can see here the same thing which we have seen in the previous slides. That means 12 divided by 3 is 4. How many times we are subtracting that will be our quotient. Let's see one example over here. Uh, we will find the quotient by repeated subtraction 15 divided by 5. What is the meaning? 15 minus 5. We have to repeat the subtraction till we get 0. So let's start. Take 15 minus 5. Here under 1's place you have to write 5. Be careful. So 5 minus 5 is 0. On 1 it is 10. Are we going to stop? No. Question to yourself. No. Again repeat it. Minus 5. 10 minus 5 is 5. Again one more time. 5 minus 5 it is 0. So we will stop it now. The repetition. Now, you count it how many times we have subtracted 5. Where we are subtracting, there itself you keep the arrow mark and write 1, 2, 3 times we subtracted. That means 15 divided by 5 is 3. 
You can check it also in one more method. Find two, three, three, five, or fifteen. We are getting. So the quotient is three. Now let's take one more example. Ten divided by two. You can try it. Take your book and pencil, and you can write and you can try on yourself. Write ten first. So which number we are subtracting from ten? The divisor minus two. Ten minus two is eight. Again subtract minus two. Yes, it is six. Are we going to stop? No, we will repeat it. Minus two. It is four. Till we get zero, we are going to do this again. Minus two. It is two. Minus two. It is zero. So we will stop now and count it. How many times we have subtracted two? One, two, three, four, five times. That means ten divided by two is how much? Five. So this is the way to do the repeated subtraction. To do the division by using repeated subtraction. Let's see one more example. Twenty-eight divided by four. So by repeated subtraction we are finding. First we will write the dividend twenty-eight. So which number we are going to subtract? Question to yourself. Four divided by four. The divisor repeatedly we have to subtract till we get zero. So minus four. Write four under ones place over here. Because it's a single digit number, so it is 24. Again, minus 4, 20, minus 4. So 0 minus 4 not possible. Borrow. So 10 and this will be 1. 2 will become 1. So 10 minus 4 is 6. That means 16 we will get. Now again minus 4. It is 12. Minus 4, 8. Minus 4, 4. Are we going to stop? No. Subtract till you get zero. Minus four, zero. Now you count repeatedly how many times we have subtracted four. Count it. Take your pencil, put a arrow mark and write one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So seven times we have subtracted four from twenty-eight. Therefore, the quotient is how much now? It is seven. Twenty-eight divided by four is seven. You can Check it. Four sevens are twenty-eight. We are getting. Now we'll see one more problem. Eighteen divided by six. Write eighteen minus six. Write six under ones place. Subtract. So it will be twelve. Again minus six. Repeatedly you have to subtract six. Again minus six. It is zero. So how many times we have subtracted? It's very important point. You have to note down. First time, second time, and third time. So eighteen divided by six is three. After watching the video, you know don't these questions in your book, and you try on yourself, and you can recheck your answers. Thank you for watching the video. Like, share, and subscribe to our channel, Math Bridges, Fun with Math. Thank you, everyone.